Samuel here. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah. Spider, it's time. Sofia! Has been a while, isn't it? I thought you would come for Easter. You know that I'm not your mommy to bring you Easter egg spider. Wasn't that a bit mean, Mr. Feather? Spider, it's Christmas and wasting time on you would be the last thing for me. 
So you better make this count and fire away. What did you want to say? Relax, Mr. Feather. Quite an irony, isn't it? You being a killer cobain named Feather, haven't you asked your parents? Okay, okay. Don't lose it. Let me tell you. I'm going to be hung tomorrow as you've read from that file. So I just wanted to say <clears throat> thank you. For what? For putting me in here. 365 days in this holy house of torture had peeled off the devil in me and made me a nice man like what I am now. <laughs> I can now die in peace. So, thank you. Nice man. You, John. Oh, spider, right? For the sake of all whom you killed last Christmas, I would say they rather peeled off your skin than other sins. Mean again, Mr. Feather. Ah. Okay. Nice seeing you. Wishing you a long dying experience. Let the bloody knot slit your throat, eating you in pain at least for an hour before it kills you tomorrow. And happy Christmas. Don't leave, Mr. Feather. Let me show you something. What the? This. This is mine. That bitch. The bullet is yours. But the bitch was mine. How the hell did you smuggle in my bullet? His confidence is severe. And his trust is like a spider's web. Like Job says in the Bible, you should be asking why I did this. What do you want to prove, Spider? That you should entrust your pack of bullies and friends, but rather me. Trust you? On what? Revenge. I called you it for revenge, but not mine. Yours. Nonsense. You think so, Mr. Feather? If I can snatch a bullet from your trousers and make it travel all the way to me, you should be sensible enough to realize that I have something to tell you. But of course in private. Sorry, Sam. Sam, stop it for me. Uh, you mean the recording, Chief? What else? Go get a pack. Okay. You got a fax time. Make it quick. Well, it's a story. I used to live near the hills those days, Mr. Feather. And I knew her. Sophia. Sophia Hopkins. Your sweet little daughter from the Emerald School. What the hell do you know about Sophie, you piece of shit? Name of that sweet little man who could not just stop at tormenting the never bloomed woman with of your daughter, but also went out to chop her down into slices. The name that he had been searching for years and years and caught. Nothing. Do you mind dying a day before? I think the poor girl has a dumb father. If I were you, I would have just gotten the name out. You know what? Putting a bullet on his head would be the nicest thing I could ever do to him. If I could get hold of his neck, I will tear it open with my bloody fucking hands. <coughs> you, sound, you sound like a Hollywood film, Mr. Feather. Shut up and tell me why should I trust you? Because I know that she had 11 cuts on her upper just with a Mark II knife of military grade. And that she was penetrated 11 times before she could even die. Poor thing. How do you know all that? Like I said, I know him. How do you know? You want the same answer or a different one? Ah! Look, Mr. Feather, 
I know him. He's as bad as me, or maybe even more. But now that I've changed, I hate him. I'm a nice man, no, I told you. And why now? Thought I could help a long morning, Papa. I know you're playing me, Spider, you creep. Any given day. I would have taken that as a compliment. But definitely not today. I'm a nice man now. So, Mr. Nice Man, if I say I believe you, what do you want in return for the name? Good to see the smart side of your back, Mr. Feather. It's quite simple. You need to put this smart little piece of iron on my head before you step out of my room and ask me no whys. Why should I boom off your head today when we plan to hang you anyway tomorrow? Because Spider wants to decide for himself when to die. All that I asked for. Twelve years of long search gave you nothing, Mr. Feather. Do it for Sophia. Like I'm doing it for her. I don't know what more should I say to make you understand this, Mr. Feather. Sam is not even recording. And you could say that I strangle you to go out to eat goose tonight. Or maybe... The name, John. You get it? The moment I am gone. Happy Christmas. I was forced to. Me too.